I do have one other judge. The last name is Kanapeski, Jamie Kanapeski, 20TR24278. She should also be online here for Zoom. Uh, this was going to be a, a hearing. Okay, I see your client there. And then... I believe it's Officer Phillips, I believe. Do I, yes, do I have Officer Phillips? Yep, there we are. All right. Good afternoon, officer. Good afternoon. All right, uh, Mr. Gordon, you said we're gonna have a hearing on this one? Uh, that's correct, Judge. All right, uh, officer, if I could have you raise your right hand. Will you be taking testimony from Ms. Uh, Kenapeski also? Yes, yes, Judge. All right, ma'am, if you'll raise your right hand also. And do you both swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. All right. And, I do. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Officer, you may proceed. Okay. I'm Master Officer Sean Phillips of Sydney Davis Police Department, identification number 263. On Friday, October 16th, the year 2020, at approximately 11.04 a.m., I was positioned on 3rd Avenue North, uh, just east of the intersection of US 41. At that time, I was observing traffic at that intersection. There is a clearly marked stop sign that is facing eastbound on Third Avenue North. Uh, so westbound traffic does observe it. It's on the northbound side of the roadway. Uh, as you approach US 41, it is clear and unobstructed. Foliage is graffiti free. It's a red sign with a white outline with the word stop, S-T-O-P, and white lettering. There is also a stop bar on the line at that intersection, advising the motors where they need to stop. I had a clear and unobstructed view of that intersection as the motors approached. At approximately 11 4 a.m., the motors came westbound on 3rd Avenue North, approaching the intersection of US 41, passing the clearly marked stop sign on 3rd Avenue North and the clearly marked stop bar, making a right-hand turn without coming to a full and complete stop and began to head northbound on US 41. At that point, I activated my emergency lights, pulled the motors to the side of the roadway. The vehicle in question is a 2018 Mazda Silver in color. It bears Florida tag number DVJ. K67, that's Delta Victor Juliet Kilo 67. I was given a Florida driver's license by a Miss Jamie Lynn Kapanaski. At that time, I was also issued a citation for failure to stop at the stop sign located at uh, There's Avenue North and US 41. All right, uh, Mr. Gordon, any questions? Well, Judge, first I'm gonna um... Based upon the officer's testimony at this point, I'm going to ask that the ticket be dismissed. He did not advise that this occurred in Collier County. I, I never advised that I was done with my testimony, sir. Well, the court can take judicial notice of geographical information. I know that third and 41 is in Collier County. Mr. I'm sorry, officer, were you not done with your testimony? That's correct. I'm sorry, you may continue. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'd like to add that I was in vehicle 6765, which is a slick top vehicle for the city of Naples Police Department. That being said, it does have clearly marked writing on the side that says it is a police vehicle, but it does not have any lights on top. And also be advised this did occur in the county of Collier as the uh, council stated. All right, any other testimony? Not at this time. Mr. Gordon, any questions for the officer? Uh, yes, Judge. Uh, Judge, before I begin the questions, I did attach um, as exhibits at the end of February some photographs. 
that okay. um, just would help with uh, geography and location if you're not familiar with this uh, intersection. I do see them. Okay. And then I can go ahead and I can ask the officer some questions so he can clarify that I'm referring to the correct intersection. Okay. Do you um, need to share the photographs? I, I don't I think I can I think I can um, probably get enough information that we can just uh, clarify without sharing okay sir I if he's gonna include photos I'd like to see him so that we can definitely conclude that we're talking about the same intersection all right I'll go ahead and share those can you see that All right. Yeah, there are there are four of them. I'm sorry that they're a little dark, but All right. All right, go ahead, Mr. Gordon. Okay. Uh, all right, so officer, so you said this occurred at 3rd Avenue North and US 41, correct? Correct. All right, and 3rd Avenue North runs east and west? Correct. So therefore it's perpendicular to US 41? Correct. Okay, so if you are driving west on 3rd Avenue North and now approaching US 41, then what would be in front of you on the opposite side of the road is the, is that the hospital parking garage? It is correct. Okay, so then um, in you looking at these photographs, um, did, do we have the correct intersection? I believe so, yes, it looked correct. Oh, okay, and then also um, on this particular road, there are parking spaces on both sides of 3rd Avenue North, correct? Yes. Okay, and can you advise us what the traffic was like or like, are, were there any cars parked in these parking spaces? Uh, I don't have a recollection as to my notes. Okay. So where were you exactly sitting, observing traffic, just to help us? Um, I, I don't really exactly recall where I was sitting, but primarily I sit on the south side of the roadway in the parking spots located. Um, so I'm, as I look to my left, I'm looking at Naples Community Hospital. Okay. Okay. Now also, if you're, if you're driving west on Third Avenue North, uh, there is another road that you can make a right turn to go to some other restaurants and shops before you exit onto 41. Is that correct? Correct. It's a parking lot. Okay. All right. And again, some of the, the pictures that I included, uh, some of the restaurants are Grouper and Chips, Caribbean Island, Opa Greek. Does that sound familiar? Yes, you are correct. Okay. Now, if you go ahead and you turn down that particular driveway, uh, there is another driveway to exit onto US 41, is that correct? Uh, at the end of that driveway, yes, you can make a left. Okay. A, a left or and a right turn? On, on US 41, correct. Right, but you make a right turn onto 41. Correct, okay. to head northbound. Okay. All right. Um, so were there any, so you don't recall any other cars in the area? You don't remember what the traffic was like around that time of day? I don't have a recollection of the other vehicles, no. Okay. All right. And so when did you first see Ms. Kanapensky's vehicle? She, I was observing traffic at that location. Uh, that's, a, that's a common spot where I do conduct traffic enforcement. I don't know where my first observation of Ms. Kanapesky is, but I did observe her clearly go through the stop sign and the stop bar without coming to a full and complete stop, making that right heading northbound on 41. Okay, and then, is, uh, so your testimony is that once she went through that stop sign, did you then pursue her onto US 41? Yes. Okay, and um, when did you first pull her over? Uh, I don't have the location to stop in my notes. Okay, did you have any conversations with Ms. Kanapesky? I don't have any conversation in my notes. Okay, so you don't recall her telling you that 
she in fact turned down the driveway before the stop sign to check out the restaurants and then exiting in the other driveway. You don't recall that conversation? No, I don't have any independent recollection of that conversation, no. Okay. Uh, and also I did notice that the the citation marks off that, that that there was a crash. I'm assuming that that's incorrect. I did not know that there was a crash. I don't know if that's an imperfection in the system, but absolutely not. There was not a crash. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that judge knew that. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. I have nothing further. All right. Uh, Officer, any additional testimony in light of the questions that were asked? No, Your Honor. All right. Uh, all right, uh, Mr. Gordon, you may proceed. I'd like to call Ms. Kanapesky, please. All right. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Ms. Kanapesky, I know you've been sworn in, but just please state your name for the record. My name is Jamie Kanapesky. And Ms. Kanapesky, where do you work? Um, I have two jobs, but one I've worked on Fifth Avenue at Silver Eagle Gallery for about six years now. Uh, were you working uh, there on October 16th, 2020? I was headed into work, yes. Headed into work, okay. So how did you end up on Third Avenue North? There is a bagel store I like to go to on Third Avenue North. So I was gonna stop there and get some breakfast, um, but it was closed. Okay, and that is one of the restaurants that is in fact in that separate alley that you can turn into before turning onto US 41, right? No, that is on um, uh, 3rd Avenue North. Oh, that's actually on 3rd Avenue North. Okay. Yes, yeah, so as I drove by, I saw that it was closed, but I was still hungry. <laughs> okay, so after you saw that it was closed, what did you then do? Um, I pulled up and as I was coming up to the stop sign, there, there was a, metallic car in front of me and I looked over and saw a uh, the, the strip mall area with all the restaurants and I decided to see if any of them had quick grab and go, any of them were open for like a grab and go since I had to be at work. And again, and this was at 11 o'clock in the morning, correct? Yes. Okay, and what time do you usually go to work? I'm supposed to be there at 11. Oh, uh, so you're running late. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted the grab and go. Okay. But um, all of them seem to be sit down. Okay, so right. So after you turned onto that separate roadway, you discovered you couldn't grab and go. Then what yes. did you do after that? I exited onto 41 and got in the far left lane and waited for um, the light to turn green so I could make uh, a U-turn and head uh, south on 41 so I could get to Fifth Avenue. And at the time that you pulled into that turn lane, did you notice the officer behind you? No. When did I didn't hear them either. When did you first notice that an officer was coming after you? I was pulled over after the stop. The stoplight turned green. I made the legal U-turn um, and I was headed north for a little bit. Um, and then the officer pulled me over a little bit ways down. Did you have any conversations with the officer? Uh, yes. Okay, what did, what did you discuss with him about why you were pulled over? Um, he said that I blew a stop sign and I said that I, um, was, I went through the, uh, parking lot to look for food. Okay. Is that the only conversation you had? Um, he asked me why I was in a hurry. I said I was on my way into work. Okay. Uh, so other than the metallic car in front of you, before you turned off into the other part of the shopping center. Yes. Were there other cars in the area on 3rd Avenue North? Yes, there was. There's usually always parked. There's a lot of other businesses there, so there are always parked cars there. So when you turned onto the separate road, past the restaurants to exit onto 41, did you stop at that stop sign? Uh, there wasn't a stop sign there. Okay. Um, I thought maybe there was. Um, okay. But when I went back after uh, after work on my way home just to check it out, because I couldn't believe I would have blown by a stop sign um, and gotten pulled over, um, I saw that there was no stop sign exiting that. But I did stop and make sure no traffic was coming before I went into the left-hand lane. Okay. And were there any markings on the roadway? If there's no stop sign, were there any like white stop bars on the roadway to tell you to stop? 
I don't recall, but it's a parking lot and I was making a right hand turn onto a busy street. So I always stop. I have nothing further, Judge. Officer, do you have any questions for Ms. Kanapeski? Um, rather than a question, I have a statement. Ms. Kanapeski's testimony does not reflect my notes at all. Okay. Uh, Ms. Kanapeski, I have a question for you. Yes. What What do you mean when you say there was a metallic car in front of you? What do you mean by metallic? So I remember when I pulled up, so I have a silver car. There was like a gold car in front of me at the stop sign at the time when I turned in to the, uh, to the parking lot. All right. So it was a golden color car. That's what yes. you can buy metallic. Yeah. Like a golden metallic. It wasn't like a bright red. It was just, it was like a very similar color, um, in the sunlight to a silver or gold. They, they kind of seem similar colors at times, but okay. either way it was metallic. All right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Gordon, any questions in light of the court's question? Uh, no, Judge. Officer, any questions in light of the court's question? No, sir. Okay. All right. Any uh, Anything else, Mr. Gordon? Uh, no, Judge. All right. Uh, officer, any rebuttal testimony? No, sir. All right. Uh, argument, Mr. Gordon? Uh, just let the testimony, Judge. That's fine. All right, any argument from you, officer? No, sir. All right. All right, having heard the testimony from each side, the court finds that uh, there is a conflict in the evidence. And based on that conflict, the state uh, has not provided sufficient proof to prove uh, that Ms. Kapinski uh, violated the traffic citation. So at this time, I'm going to dismiss the citation and um, in case number 20 TR 24278. Uh, thank you, officer. Thank you, sir. Am I dismissed? Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Ms. Kanapeski. Thank you, Judge. All right, thank you, Mr. Gordon. Anything else from you? I think I, I think I'm finished. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, thank you. Take care. You too.